Hey everyone. You may have heard about NVIDIA Broadcast, a suite of machine learning tools that NVIDIA has released that lets you do different broadcast functions, such as cleaning up audio and having uh, different kinds of video effects. I thought you might want to see a quick demo as it applies to virtual production to see just which of these features are actually going to be useful to you. Now, the first one which you're actually hearing, or I should say not hearing right now, is uh, the NVIDIA Broadcast sound feature which eliminates noise in the room from your audio. I pretty much got a nightmare scenario here set up for recording audio. My uh, microphone is about six feet away from me uh, and uh, the window is open and there's noise coming in from the street. And I'm also a fair amount of distance away so you get some echo. Uh, and you can see right now, you really can't hear much of any of that. If I tap on the desk, rattle my glass, or type on the keyboard, it's all pretty much inaudible. But if I switch the audio system off, now you can hear the background noise from the window pretty clearly, and every little noise I make pretty much comes straight through. This is a pretty good feature. It reduces the background noise with almost no effect on your own voice. And I'm going to switch it back on right now. As you can see, the background noise has completely gone away again. So this is a really good feature and it takes very little of your GPU to, to do. So the noise reduction feature is really useful if you're recording audio, particularly if you're in a small studio like my little 10 foot square room here, where the noise from the computer fans and sometimes uh, the noise from the window when it's too hot to keep the windows closed will mess up your audio recording. This pretty much cleans it up very effectively for you and at a minimum cost of your GPU. Now the other features of NVIDIA Broadcast for dealing with the camera are a bit less useful for virtual production. Uh, they might be handy if you're doing YouTube reviews, video chatting, or live streaming. And I'll show you how those work right now. The first one uh, you probably heard of is background removal, which doesn't require a green screen behind you. And probably everybody's going, oh yeah, great, no green screens anymore, much easier. Well, maybe, let me show you what it looks like. I'll turn it on, and you may recognize the background. It's just a static shot of uh, from one of my CG sets. And as you can see, the effect is not perfect. There's a lot of leak through between my fingers, near my head, and it flickers quite a bit in, depending on what I'm doing in front of it. So while this might be good for uh, your typical video chat or maybe even for a live stream, if you want a really professional look, you're going to still have to use the green screen, at least for now. The other video feature is interesting, but again, it has problems if you want to use it with virtual production. It's called auto framing. And what that does is it has the camera automatically follow you as you move around. Now, right now I'm feeding this from a 4K camera, so there's a lot of resolution, and then it gets downscaled to 1080. Uh, and if I turn the feature on, you'll see it zoom in. So now it's zoomed in on me. And remember, this is a stationary camera across the room about six or seven feet. Uh, so the zoom is entirely digital. And you'll notice that when I get up and move around, I can pretty much do whatever I want. Get in closer, further away, duck down. And as long as I stay in the field of view of the camera's original shot, it's going to follow me. Now, sometimes the motion is a little bit overzealous. It's not quite as smooth as what a professional cameraman would do. Maybe NVIDIA could add a little bit more dampening uh, to the way it works. I'll show you what it looks like even more close up. So this is a full zoom in. Again, it's still the same original camera image and it's still following me pretty much automatically wherever I wanna go. So it's an interesting feature. It's not as smooth as a real live cameraman. Uh, it's also not quite as smooth as my uh, robot cameraman uh, is when I have it in uh, person following mode. Uh, but it's better than nothing if you don't have a robot camera or uh, some other kind of fancy handheld zoom camera for you. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use this virtual production because there's no way of telling what part of the image the camera is zoomed in on, so you wouldn't be able to generate an appropriate background. 
But for live streaming or product reviews or other things where you might need to move around a little bit, uh, it's not a bad option. However, if you're used to editing your videos with something like, say, DaVinci Resolve uh, or uh, Premiere, you can get the same kind of pan and scan effects manually, and you can control how they move better so they look much smoother than this does. But if you just want something that uh, goes live and follows you around the room, this is really what you need. So that's the overview of NVIDIA Broadcast. I hope it was useful. Have fun. See you next time.